Greetings, ladies and gentlemen and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215, and right now we are in Flagler Beach, Florida. On my right-hand side, we have a welcome to Flagler Beach sign. We will be entering the city of Flagler Beach. We'll be doing a driving tour. I'm gonna to be zigzagging through the neighborhood, showing you guys what it looks like. Flagler Beach is what it sounds like. It's also a beachfront community. We're on Route 100. We have a Shell gas station on my right hand side. We have a Vice Star Credit Union on my left hand side. Flagler Square on my right with several businesses. A hair cuttery, Delilah and Publix Storage on my left hand side, as well as a SunTrust Bank on my right hand side. We have a Sherwin Williams paint business and we also have a CVS pharmacy. On my left, we have several gentlemen doing some work on the, I guess, street wires. Then we also have a police officer stationed in the middle of this island on my left hand side with his lights on. I'm sure he's put there for reinforcement purposes. We have an RV, a class A on my left hand side. We're on East 100. We're about to cross over this bridge, which is going to take us into Flagler Beach. And I'm gonna roll down the windows just so we can get some fresh air. The weather is looking like 82 degrees. That's what the thermometer is reading, 82 degrees. We have pretty clear skies. We have a few clouds, but no rain in sight. Right now we're driving over the Matanzas River. This little bridge is taking us over the Matanzas River. Now we went to Flagler Beach about two days ago. We visited on our own time. Um, and it was a little beach, little beach front. It wasn't too wide as most beaches go, but the rapids were very strong, at least the day that we went. The grains of sand were huge. It was like deep orange uh, sand, and they were like pretty large salt pellets. The water was salty, of course, but it was a nice beach. Let's make this left hand turn. We're gonna start our tour here. On Flagler Avenue. make this left hand turn on Flagner Avenue and Moody Boulevard. Three blocks to my right is the beachfront. So we'll go here and we'll just start zigzagging. We'll take it up and down and go to the beachfront. Matter of fact, I should have probably just went straight through the center so y'all can see. I believe there is another welcome tourist sign. We got Big Owls Bait and Tackle on my right hand side. Rod repair and more for those of you who like fishing. We got Island Doctors on my left hand side. We got beautiful palm trees. We're traveling about 11 miles an hour. Watch out for lizards. That's gonna be our motto when we're in the tropics. <laughs> when you're in Philly, you gotta watch out for cats. When you're in the tropics, you gotta watch out for lizards. There's lizards everywhere. When I mean everywhere, there's an overabundance of lizards. Let's make this right hand turn on North Daytona Avenue. We're at 2nd Street in North Daytona. We just left 2nd Street. Now, speaking of Daytona, this beach, Flagler Beach, is about 30 minutes from Daytona Beach. And Flagler Beach is right by the Palm Coast, <clears throat> which is also one hour and 12 minutes from Orlando, Florida. On my left hand side, we have Voyage Church Revive Cafe. We have Welcome to Flagler Beach on my right hand side. You see it? City Hall, museum on my right, library, shops, and parking. I just drank some high quality H2O. <coughs> we got a tattoo shop on my left. We got Finn's uh, Flagler Beach, Florida Beachside Pub. When we came here, we parked right there on my right hand side. You see where that pickup truck is at? So, literally, if you walk up to the sidewalk, we have an old couple walking by. Looks like a husband and wife. 
They look like they probably just got breakfast. They have cups of coffee and some paper bags. When you stand right there on that 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 beachfront, you'll literally see the the water probably 20 yards away from you. So you know how some beaches are really like long, you got a lot of walking to get to the actual water? No, this is a, a uh, I guess, I wouldn't say shallow, but this is a, a short beachfront. It's not as long as most beachfronts that I'm used to going to. Right there, you, I don't know if you can see tides, you see them? The tides are pretty strong early in the morning. All right, we got a few businesses on my left hand side. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on 2nd Street. And then we're just gonna zigzag up and down. We're on A1A. <laughs> Yo, A1A, Beachfront Avenue. That made me think of Vanilla Ice. Ice, ice, baby. When he said I was on A1A, Beachfront Avenue. Yo, we on A1A. Yo, this is probably where he was talking about. Yo, he was out here in, 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 in Florida, yo. Nah, he was probably somewhere else, but it's cool. We on North Central and North 2nd Street. We got a Kraft Donuts and coffee shop on my left-hand side. I am going to make, I can take a street. I'm, 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 I'm gonna do it long ways. Rather than, than doing it short ways, I'm gonna go to the top, the three blocks, right? Down three blocks, left, up three blocks. Look at this dog on my right. Beautiful dog, man. She smiled. I don't know if she understood what I was talking about, but that was a nice little dog. It looked like a Scottish Terrier, like something weird. It had like an old man mustache beard thingy majiggy. Look at this house on my left. This house on my left has vinyl siding, but then it also got like scales. I don't know if they're wooden scales, if they're vinyl scales, but the blue accent is scales. On my right, you got Flagler County Abstract Company. I wonder what's that about, Abstract Company. We got the Island Doctors on my right hand side. Let's make this right hand turn. So this is gonna pretty much be like our, our boundary, our border. This is on Flagler. Dr. Verones and Associates Counseling and Psychological Services on my right hand side. Grow, heal, change. Look at that house right there in front of us. You see it? This is what you literally call a beachfront community because it's right on, along the beach coast. Now there's pluses and there's cons to it, pros and cons. Let's make this right on Third Street. The pros are you have a beautiful environment, beautiful atmosphere. You know, you're in a touristy area, so you know, you got the beach, you got the sun. It's beautiful, right? It looks tropical. Oh, beautiful dog on my right. He's under the car. Now the only downside is we got a house for sale on my right hand side. 315 3rd Street, 315 3rd Street in Flagler Beach, Florida is for sale. The downside is when those storms hit, boy, do, do they hit. If, if you get hit with like a hurricane right here, I'm sure that all these houses gotta have some sort of flood or hurricane insurance, you know what I mean? Then we had a gentleman about to ride by with a surfboard on his bicycle. That's how you know we on the beach, guys. My guy is going to the beach with his surfboard on his bicycle. Who needs to drive when you live on the beachfront, right? There's four rent on my right-hand side and for sale. Three to two bedrooms for 2500 a month. There you go. Anybody wanted to know what it was like to right here? Three to two. It's, it's at three slash two, so I'm assuming three to two bedrooms. Unless that means something different, and y'all know what it means. For twenty five hundred a month, we're on North Third and Central Avenue. First Baptist Church on my left hand side. Y'all be serious about that Ice Ice Baby song? Like I'll be rocking that joint. Like I like that song. Like if you go YouTube it and listen to that intro beat, that beat is dope to me. It's it's a hot beat. Like I like the organic sounds from back in the day before technology you know took over. Look at no carts beyond this point. We're on North A1A in Beachfront Avenue. It's like, you know, it's, it's not called Beachfront Avenue, it's called A1A. But we're on North A1A and North 3rd Street. Let's make this left-hand turn. Every time we get to this block, look at that skyline over there. Just know that that's pure water. That's a straight line, straight across. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 
Oh, there's also a warning that says unguarded beach. Warning, visible and submerged dangers. Rip currents may exist. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's some strong water. That water will push you on your butt. It'll knock you down. Like if you're not bracing for the impact, literally when, when we left, I saw there was a gentleman with his lady and he decided to go on the beach. And when we were walking away, he like did this whole Baywatch swimming maneuver. And then when he was walking like towards the sand, the water knocked him down, literally just knocked him out and he fell. <laughs> we got Sally's ice cream on my right hand side. We're on North 4th Street. But he looked real cool, like Baywatch. He was coming out the water in slow motion and all of that. And then boom, he got knocked on his butt. For sale on my left hand side. 115 4th Street is for sale, 115. Wow, so we already seen like two or three properties that's for sale on the beachfront, huh, ladies and gentlemen? 115 North 4th Street, 4th and Central. No overnight parking, COFB uh, ordinance, COFB. That means City of Flagler Beach, right? I think so, C-O-F-B, City of Flagler Beach. I'm a professional. All right, we're at 4th and Daytona, 4th and Daytona Ave. Now, if you're an animal lover and you hang with your pal, you know, you hang with, with man's best friend, I have some disheartening information to share with you. Many of these beaches are not dog friendly. For example, Daytona Beach, even Miami Beach, surprisingly, shockingly, like, come on, guys. If our dog is not attacking nobody, if our dog's calm, subtle, sitting in a beach chair, taking in some sun, getting their tan on, we're on North Flagler Ave. Why in the world are our dogs not allowed on the beach? But nope, they're not allowed on a lot of these beaches. They have, like, specific dog beaches, which, I mean, it's good and bad. Look at, check, check these houses right here on my left. Look at the colors. We got like a like a mint green far left with, with like a with like a llama pea green on, on on the siding up top on the second floor. First floor is done with stucco. This one right here is burgundy with like a brown on my left. On my right is it's like a like a money green. Yeah, so that's kind of sad. I mean, like you know, let's make this right hand turn on Fifth Street, North Fifth Street. Flagler Ave and 5th Street. Yeah, we was on the beach and some guy was walking by, a uh, Hispanic young brother was walking by and he saw Jersey. Jersey was calm, she was chilling, she was sitting on her beach chair and everything. And he's like, yo, you know you'll get a fine if they see you with your dog on the beach. And I'm like, huh? He's like, they'll find you if they see you with your dog on the beach. I'm like, they'll find me? He's like, yeah. Hey, thanks, bro. Thanks for putting me on the spot. Ain't nobody noticed me until you said that. <laughs> hey, look at these birds right here on my left. Oh, man, they got long beaks. Look at them. They're white birds. Their beaks, in, pers in proportion, to put them in perspective with their body, their beaks probably make up like, like, a, like one eighth of their length. Like they have like four inch beaks. Really long, long, long beaks. Oh, man, I can't express how long these beaks are. And then the thing is, they're so calm, just eating. Look at that, look at that. Their beaks are huge. Look how long those beaks are over here on Flagler Beach. Look at them, look at them, look at them. They all looking at me, they're like, yo, why are you, why are you recording me? Yo, that was crazy, yo. All right, so right now we are on 5th and Daytona. Gonna cross over Daytona. American flag on my right hand side. Look at this uh, mailbox on my right. It looks like a seahorse. You see it? Wow, a little seahorse. That was cool. I noticed a lot of people on the beachfront or like uh, beach natives, they walk around barefooted. I don't know how they do it. I could kind of understand. Like, I've never been a barefooted type of person. Like, you know, have little dirt, dirty little bottoms and all of that. But aside from that, just sharp objects. I guess they build a tolerance to the sharpness. We're on North Central Ave and North Fifth Street. 
I think they built like a tower, like on on the beach. This beach had a lot of sharp shells and broken objects. And I'm like, what? And I see people just walking by normally, just barefooted. I'm like, nah, bro. I I need some some swim shoes. And yeah, you know what I mean. We got a little beachfront bar on my left hand side. We're back on North A1A, Beachfront Avenue. <laughs> You gotta listen to that Ice Ice Baby song. I'ma listen to that Ice Ice Baby song after this. I'm telling you. I'm like, yo, I was actually on A1A, Beachfront Avenue. Now I need my white 1990 Mustang. <laughs> my GT Mustang with the speakers booming. We got the 29 degree no north bar and seafood on my left. Let's make this left on 6th Street. So to give you guys an idea of what the costs are going for in this neighborhood, this house is ranging. Wow, look at this one. I'm gonna reverse to show it to you guys. This house is ranging 500,000 to a million dollars, which I don't think is actually bad to live near the beach and to have you know a, like if this home right here was was six seven hundred thousand and it's kind of big, it's like a big cube. It's not that bad. It got the garage. It got all of that. That that green one right there, and then pretty much. You don't need a pool because you go across the street and you're at your pool. Oh, wow. Look at this house right here on my right. I'm so tempted to just bust that right and show y'all that right. I want to show you all these houses on the right. But I'm so uniform going up and down. Oh, man, I got to show you it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to cut because of these swirly steps. The swirly steps are calling me. They're calling me, calling me. Look right here on my left-hand side. Look at those swirly steps. Look at that entrance. You got swirly staircase going up to the balcony up top. You see it? You, you see that staircase? 605. Wow, no, this is 605 next to me. 609 is the one with the, school, the, the swirly staircase. And it has a nice size garage. Look at that garage. Sheesh, that's what I'm saying. That's probably what, like 650, 700,000? Think, think that's a milli yet? A milli, milli, milli. I'm a millionaire. 500,000 probably like the smaller ones. Uh, we're on 7th Street, Central Avenue, 7th Street. I feel like I cheated y'all. Like, I took y'all away from y'all, from y'all uniform nature. I think I'm gonna have to bust a U-turn. I'm gonna bust a U-turn because I can show y'all the block that we missed. Trick move. Let's make this right-hand turn on 6th Street. Six and Central Ave. Now I'm gonna throw the air conditioner. I gotta be extra cautious because it's sunny and the sun is going to cast a strong light ray on the camera and it's going to overheat it. And that's the last thing that I want is this to overheat and cut. It's did that before in the past. So if you hear now a steady wind blowing in the background, that's the air conditioner. I, I got it on low. We're on six in Daytona. Look at these plants on my right. You see those plants? Things are crazy. They're bigger than a child. <laughs> those are some large plants. So another thing that Florida is known for, which I have yet to see. Yo, look at this mailbox on my right, that blue one. So weird. Oh, it's a gas tank. Yo, that was a motorcycle gas tank. Yo, that's me all day. Um, is Florida alligators let's make this right on North Flagler Ave yeah so there's alligators in Florida and I have yet to see an alligator I would love to see an alligator I have yet to see one I'm gonna make this right hand turn on 7th Street look at this house right here on the corner that one looks decent, right? I'm a kind of sore of all houses. Like, I could find a decent house in every neighborhood. Look at this palm tree right here. They got a lot of Christmas lights on it. Look at, look at, look at, look at this one right here on my left. You see how it's dressed with light bulbs? So at nighttime, that thing probably get turned on. It's probably like rainbow. Then we got another house for sale on my right hand side, ladies and gentlemen. 311, y'all. 311 is for sale. 
So if anybody is interested in moving to 311th North 7th Street, look at another one, home lot packages on my left. They're selling this lot on my left-hand side, y'all. There's a huge lot that's overgrown. Wow, wowzers. G, uh, Willie, G, G bunkers. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. We on 7th and Daytona. G golly. There you go, there you go. I'm surprised there's untamed lots here. I guess that's people who just held on to their lots and never wanted to sell. They figured that they're gonna wait till the property value goes up. And now's the time that the property value is up so they can make some money from it. We're on North Central Ave and North 7th Street. We got a little beach cruiser on my left-hand side. See that bicycle? A beach cruiser is very appropriate being next to the beach. We got a winery on my right hand side. Flagler Beachfront Winery for all of you wine sippers. How many of you like to sip wine? All right, let's make this left hand turn. They're building a new beachfront, it looks like building. I, I might say a business, because it's here on my far left. I would love to position you guys to it, but this is a main road, this A1A. It's hard for me not to say Beachfront Avenue. <laughs> we want A1A. Um, I gotta be careful. Let me, let me see. There's one more car on my right. There's no cars on my left. So I might be able to point the vehicle to the building so you can see what they might be making here. We could document it before it's finished. Let's make this left hand turn. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Right here. Right here. Boom. Right there on my left hand side. You see that building? It says Help Wanted. Yo, it says Help Wanted. Yo, they're literally hiring in the middle of the job. In the middle of the job. No, they might have the first floor with cinder blocks. These are houses on my left. They might have the first floor with cinder blocks. Ocean City Realty. We're on 8th Street and A1A. Because in case of a storm, the first floor will be strong enough. You understand? So that makes sense. Wow, look at these houses. Look at them on my right. Look at them on my left. Yeah, that makes sense. They might make the first floor with cinder block to be storm resistant. Because if they made the whole thing with, with wood and then a strong hurricane came in, it'll knock the house down. We're on North Central Ave and North A Street. We got a gentleman on my right with a leaf blower. He's blowing leaves. I wonder if... This, oh, this is Santa Maria del Mal. It's a church. On my right-hand side, sacred grounds. So I wonder if he's contracted by the church to maintain it. You know, he's playing like a landscaper. Kings, I mean, Knights of Columbus Bingo is back. Woo, this house right here is amazing. Look at this house right here, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing this crazy positioning to show this house right here. I'm just trying not to drive on the church's lawn. <laughs> the dude's fixing the lawn and he sees me driving on it. Look at that house. Sheesh! Three stories, y'all. Look at that. They even got the little tiki guys. The little Akuta Matata. The John from Crash Bandicoot. The little Akuta Matata. Akuta Matata. Akuta Matata. <laughs> if you ever played Crash Bandicoot, then you know what I'm talking about. When I talk about the little tiki mask, Crash Bandicoot used to be the game, boy. Well, North Daytona and 8th Street. So there's something blocking us right here that's not allowing us to get to Flagler Ave. Looks like a parking lot on my left hand side. I don't know who owns the parking lot, but it's a parking lot. Oh, it might be the church right here on my right hand side. Wow, that church might have that whole parking lot. Amazing. And look at these crosses on my right hand side. I wonder what those crosses signify. Let me slow down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four crosses. Oh wow. Santa Maria del Mal Catholic Church. 60 million babies aborted in the USA since 1973. I think that's what those crosses signify. Oh, we got a nice block right here on my left. This take us to, to Flagler. Oh, but I want to show y'all both sides. Right, I'm going left and I'm going to bust a U-turn. Because these trees right here, it's these trees right here for me. <laughs> That's an inside of the joke. Y'all don't even get it. But those trees right there, like they whole property surrounded by palm trees. Yo, look at this house over here. Over here on my left-hand side. 
Yo, the colors are so, they're inspired by Hispanics. These are like Spaniard, Spain-like, Puerto Rican-like, Dom Dominican-like, um, Co Colombian-like, Cuban-like colored houses. Look at that one. Damn, that's a boss crib. Look at that staircase. Look at that staircase right there, yo. That staircase is pimping. We on 10th and Flagler Ave. Look at that staircase, though. And then look at this side double garage. Let me point to their garage so I can set off their, like, little system. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Damn, son. Look at that. Yo, party at Tools Crib. Come over to Flagler Beach. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. That's too, yo, the back is even better. Oh, man. And like I said, who needs a pool in this neighborhood when you got the beach right around the corner? But then again, the pool gives you your own privacy. I'm not a big pool guy, so it doesn't matter if you have a pool or not. Like, we can still be friends. <laughs> but I guess, yeah, if you don't want to be around. Yo, this is a dope, dope, dope mailbox. Look at this mailbox, y'all. Look at this little um, seahorse mailbox. That's nice. Right, I'm going to make a U-turn because we're getting a little off on a tangent here. And I don't want to miss areas. Look at They even got the waterfront right here. Now, there's probably alligators in there. I would not put it past that. Because alligators being what? Swamps, lakes, and rivers down here? Oh, and then guess what? Um, we was at Jacksonville Beach a few days ago. And Jacksonville Beach was like the fifth most reported shark bite um, beaches ever. And I'm like, what? Yo, I started getting subconscious. And yeah, sharks and all that stuff right here on these coastal beaches. Man, they had to ruin it for, for me, yo. One little thing that was cool is that it's like I'm out here and I'm on, a, on like a safari because I'll be really discovering all these little animals. Like, um, we saw these little white crab looking things. These like little land crabs. They surf across the sand so fast. Different sizes from like like two three inches to the biggest one I think I seen was like five inches and they got two little beady beady eyeballs and if you spot them they'll tuck themselves under sand real quick or they'll dig a hole in the ground and they'll like burn themselves and when you walk away they'll come back out and as the sun started going down when we was on the beach this happened on on Flag of the Beach, right here, Flag of the Beach. This is where I seen those most the, the most because I didn't see none of those those little crab looking things on um, World Tenth of Daytona in Jacksonville Beach or in South Car Carolina's Foley Beach. I saw them here. They're like I don't know what what they are. They're clearish. They're like see throughish, and they look like a crab and they move so fast, so effortless, effortless, effortless effortlessly across the sand. It's incredible. And they and they cover themselves. It's so funny. One of them covered himself. He tried to hide, so he did a bad job. We're on 10th and Central Ave. So I picked up some sand and I just threw it at him. And then he like got startled and ran off. Like, dude, you, you gotta do better than that. Yeah, there was a little little sign on my right. Look at right here, right here, right here. You see? There's like little um you see those little black things? You see it? It's like a little outline of a dog taking a poop and it says no. Meaning, do not allow your dog to take a poop on their grass. <laughs> Tollway zone on my right hand side. RV, you see that RV? Class A. Right, we're on 10th and A1A. 10th and A1A. So we're going to make this left hand turn. Missing cat. Oh, there's a missing cat sign. It looks like a Persian. Black or Persian cat? It looks like a, like a nice cat. Look, there's a little entrance right there to go to the beach. There's a sign right here. Vehicles prohibited on the dunes and vegetation up to $500 fine. $500 fine. We got a liquor store right here on my left-hand side. It looks abandoned, though. For sale. Wow, there's a big old... This house right here is for sale, y'all. This house. This baby blue one is for sale. Wow. T uh, 1015A1A in Flagler Beach, Florida. We're on A1A and 11th. Pink flamingos on my right, but not real ones, but like little fake ones. So yeah, so being out here, or being down south, because I think we started seeing the random 
animals like around South Carolina is when we started seeing like lizards and everything. Um, and I think that was that was cool. That was cool like to, to see. And I'm sure they're so accustomed to the animals, but to me, it's like, it's such a new thing, you know? I mean, I've seen it when I went to Cali. I've seen it when, when I went to Puerto Rico. But here in like Florida, this is my really my first experience ever in Florida. To see the overabundance in in lizards, it's incredible. Like I'm talking about, you shake one little gate, and like 20 lizards run. No lie, I'm I'm not over exaggerating. Or like you walk towards like a tree, and you got a colony of like 15, 20, 30 lizards just making making a way for just out being out. Pew! There's a no outlet in front of us. Um, but it's incredible, guys. Like. It's so decent because I've always been into animals growing up, so especially lizards. I've always had a lot of lizards growing up. So to see these lizards in real life for free, it's amazing. Like, it's it's a pretty cool experience. Yeah, this is a dead end, guys. So we're going to go to the top. We're going to have to make a U-turn because 11th Street and 12th Street are pretty much their own peninsulas they have pretty much have water surrounding them so but it's cool y'all get to see these little beachfront blocks houses and all of that nice little area yeah but the lizards guy it's the lizards for me like the lizards we found a baby bunny we found a baby bunny my wife spotted it out it was nighttime it was jumping in circles she told me she knows that um i'm the animal whisperer so i whisper some stuff into the rabbit's ear and the ear was um listening and it became friendly with me i pet him or her whatever it was scratched it in the ear scratched it in the head and the tummy and then picked it up and it was pretty friendly it, it wasn't rabid it wasn't like angry it wasn't dying either it was really healthy it was just like a pup it was it was like like a month month and a half old bunny and we housed it for one night because it was nighttime. Obviously, it, it was lost from its pack. And um, I didn't want it to get ran over by another car, or I didn't want it to become prey for a predator to eat it. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's plenty of animals that would have loved to eat a baby rabbit. Wow, look at this this classic car over here. Man, coming down here was, was worth it. Check it out. Classic, y'all, right there, right there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn this way so y'all can see the classic. Well, look at that. He got Georgia tags on that bad boy. Wow, white wall coker tires and everything. So this is their little dead end back here, eh? This is their home sweet home, piece of oasis, piece of heaven, huh? But um, so yeah, guys, we housed it for one night woke up the next morning it was vibrant happy it was sleeping it fell asleep um woke it up it was vibrant happy hopping around i i mean you know you 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 hear bunnies hop but you don't ever really know that they hop hop for every little thing that you do every little sound or anything. they literally hop they don't walk they don't crawl they hop it's like they got like a like a pogo stick connected to their ankles and whatever you do they hop the littlest, cutest hops ever. They literally hop. So it was hopping around. We were gonna set it back free and put it back in the wild, but where it was located, there was nothing but like lake around us, water, a lot of cars. And we were looking for like bushes, like vegetation. I figured putting it back in vegetation might've been the smartest ideal. Maybe it's family wasn't vegetation, but we couldn't figure out how we got to where we were at based on where we were located. And I'm like, what? So I took it into, the headquarters of this campground and told the ladies and the staff there they were like oh my god office pet <laughs> they really liked it so that was cool so they put it in a bigger box i said i brought it to you guys so at least maybe y'all can house it for a couple weeks till it becomes like you know a teenage rabbit or something and set it back free you know set it back to the wilderness well look at this land for sale on my right but look at this house right here y'all sheesh 
Look, they got a Warris on their mailbox. Wow. 306. 306 11th Street, y'all. That house is huge. That's probably a million dollar plus. Plus house. It's over a million. It might be like a million or two. A two milli, two milli, three milli, milli in there. All right, so we can make a left here. Because this takes us back away from the little peninsula. So these two blocks are peninsulas. 11th and 12th Street. After that, it's just regular. There's squirrels around here, which we got squirrels in, in Philly, so nothing really too intriguing about a squirrel. I'm sure the people who are lifelong residents who are, let's make this left right here. It's a no outlet, but might as well. You, we, we might see a fly house down here. Uh, wow, that's a weird, oh, that's a crab, crab thing they got in front of their house. Uh, look at this um mailbox holder. Look, it's like a tiki dude carved out of wood. Ah, uh, that's tough. That's decent. Sucky part is you only get one mailbox. So you can only like pick one design. Unless you have an annual change. Like you just change it manually. You have like five designs. <laughs> you keep changing your mailboxes. That's decent. But yeah, guys. I think it's the animals for me on this whole visit. The animals in some of the scenic areas is really nice. But I like the fact that there's a lot of cool animals out in the open. And like I was saying, I'm sure locals, lifelong residents of this area, or lifelong residents of Philly, mm, Philly, not not Philly, lifelong residents of Florida. You can't blame me for saying Philly, Philly, floor, Philly, floor, floor, Philly, almost the same. Um, lifelong residents of Florida and lifelong residents of Cali and like um, tropical places. They're probably so accustomed to the lizards that it's nothing to them. But for me, it's like every chance I get, I'm trying to pick one up, catch and release type of thing. Beautiful area. I'll tell you something. If it wasn't for those um, storms, this would be a nice area to live in. The only thing that'll have me on edge is the storms. You gotta pay close attention to like the, the hurricane season and everything. But it looks awesome. It looks nice, nice, colorful, tropical, beautiful. Nice plants, nice homes. And they got the different variety of homes. You got small homes, medium homes, big homes. Look at this one on the corner. I think this one is classified as a big home. Look at this big behemoth of a home slapped in the corner of a peninsula. Wow. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all the home, then I'm gonna show you this little backyard setup they got over here on my left. Look at this home right here. Woo! 346 12th Street in Flagler Beach, Florida. Y'all can look that price up here if y'all want. Yo, look at this property right here. Look at, they got all the little play sets out there in the yard. Private property, no trespassing. Wow, that house has solar panels too. I, I didn't even notice. Really nice area. I'll tell you that much. And I know it's only gonna get nicer when we get to Miami. Really cool area. I guess it'll make for a good vacation house, right? Like if you if if you were fortunate enough to have two or three properties, buy Flagler Beach home and just you know what I mean. Use it to come and visit and hang out, or you know, like a getaway home. Wow, they got a boat in their backyard. Like literally, not just in their backyard. They have a boat dock in their backyard with the boat floating over water, ready to be released and lowered whenever they want it. Oh my Jesus. Sweet baby Jabebus. Yo, it's one thing. In, in Philly, plenty of people got boats. Jersey, Virginia, North Carolina. I see boats on lawns all day. It's a different story. You're in a different ball game when you got a boat dock in the back of your house and it's lifted and ready to be dropped on water at any time. That means that whenever you get out of work or whatever you're doing, you come from golfing, come from, I'm assuming these people golf, 
you come from playing polo. I'm assuming these people play polo because there's a polo club like 10 minutes from here. Yes, people, polo. Marco, polo. Marco, polo. Yeah, there's a polo club nearby. So these people probably play polo and all that. And then right after they're done, another boat with a boat dock in the yard. They bowling. I got to point to it because y'all don't believe me. They're like, too. We, we don't believe you. Point, point. Show us. Show us. Right there. Look in between all those trees. Squint. Zoom in. Do something. You you see that boat? That boat is lifted up by wires and it's right over water. Sheesh. They can just drop that thing. The thing, thing, thing. Remember I said that they're located near water too? They can pretty much just ride the whole river. Does the river go out to the ocean? It doesn't look like it. Oh, it goes to the Halifax River. That's incredible, guys. Wow, this house on my left is beautiful too. Oh, that was done with the Tiki mailbox. Punch buggy, no punch bags. I whoever next to you, I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your niece, your nephew, your dog, your baby squirrel. Sock that little guy. So you know. <laughs> We're on 12th of Daytona. And we're gonna make this left hand turn on 12th Street. Strapetti. Somebody's mailbox says Strapetti. That must have been their last names. Mark Strapetti, Jasmine, no, probably not even a Jasmine, Jen Strapetti, Barbara Strapetti, John Strapetti. Let's make this right here turn on 13th Street. Oh, look at the Beetle just parked up there. Why she got a car to match her, her house? Both her cars match her house. <laughs> Both her cars match her house. All right, so we still got another, I would say, I would say one, two, three more blocks that we can explore going left. Then we should just take it the long way back, take one of these long streets back. Remember we started off on Second Street? Let's see what's past Second Street. Should I drive up the beachfront? Y'all want me to drive through A1A, Beachfront Avenue. All right, hold on, let me make this, this, this one more left. This, there's one left. No, but the back side is where y'all can see the houses. If I take y'all through A1A, Beachfront Avenue. If I take y'all through A1A, all y'all gonna see is abyss on your left side and on your right side, a couple businesses and some homes. How about I do both? Ah, you like that, right? How about I go up through the back blocks and then once we get past Second Street, we see what's over there, then we come through A1A, Beachfront Avenue. Yeah, let's let's do that. I like the way that sounds. All right, we have 14th Street. Let's make this left on 14th Street, and it looks like we have some like beachfront. What's these apartments on my right? Apartments or something of that nature. I want Central Ave. This is looks like uh, no outlet in front of us too, but I think it turns. Check this out. We got a Class C right here, y'all. Look at that, a Class C. Y'all see that Class C RV? They pimp it. They, they got that drum pressed right up against their wall. And it's plugged up to the power. And that thing is pressed right up against their property. We're on 14th in Daytona. Let's make this right hand turn. Get a house right there in the corner. Check out these houses on my right hand side. little back block on the left there's like a little uh a little dock it's like a little deck that walks onto like a little bench that you can sit at and if you just want to stare off into this little river that's back here you can stare off into the river 
McGowan's Services on my right hand side. Of it. They're doing a house on my right, they're rehabilitating it. They gutted out the whole house. Now, you know, you got to have some money, some disposable income to not only buy a beachfront home, but to buy a beachfront home, completely demolish it, and then, or renovate it and fix it all up to like your standards. Because you talk about 500,000, a million plus for the home, and then just putting another 500,000 into it to make it to what you like. You know what I mean? Yo, look at these RVs back here. One, a two, a three RVs. <laughs> look, there's a house for sale right here on my right hand side. Oh no, it's a lot. It's a lot that's for sale. Wow, there's a lot of lots that's for sale here, y'all. There's a lot of lots that's for sale here. Look, another one right here on my right, another lot. Whoa, that's decent. That, that allows you to build your dream home from scratch. We're on 17th Street, Daytona and 17th. All right, now I'm gonna take one of the back blocks back all the way past 2nd Street, and then we'll try to take A1A. A. Two, don't say it, don't say it. Let's try to take A1A A back. A1A, A, Beachfront Avenue. <laughs> Yo. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ice, ice, baby. We're on North Central and 17th Street. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. Yeah, they got golf carts chilling. That's another thing that I like about these, these beachfront towns. You could ride a golf cart around and be chilling like a villain. I want a golf cart so bad now. Especially after I seen, um, I was in Charleston. Was we in Charleston? Charleston was the first time that I seen golf. It was in South Carolina, Charleston. It was the first time I seen, we passed the 16th Street. Golf carts in full effect, like on every other corner, or like just driving through the city. Or, or we even went to eat at this one restaurant. It was a banging restaurant. What was it called? It was called Neon, Neon Tiger. It was, it was a nice restaurant, right? It looked like a nightclub, for, for real, for real. It looked like a, like a disco club, but <laughs> we went to to Neon Tiger. Oh wow! Look at these two dogs that's right here. Oh, so so cute. And um, a couple pulled up to get their food. Oh, look at this brindle doggy doggy. What's up, little doggy doggy? Hi. She waved at us. I guess she's seen us. She's like, don't plot on our dogs. <laughs> the owners of the dog. Like this dude on my left is cleaning his fishing pole. Oh no, he's cleaning some type of long piece of metal. I was about to say, dude, you're hanging out off of your balcony cleaning your fishing pole. Yo, that lady, yo, I'm telling you, real rap. I turned my head sideways. She was already waving. She was like, if she was the president's wife, like just, just like giving like one of those like royal waves, you know, put your hand up, make a little cup and just go like stiff, like left and right. Like, you know what I'm talking about? You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about? You don't, you don't remember, remember? Well, anyway. Yeah, yo, so I seen the golf carts over there in Charleston, and I was like, yo, I was blown away. Obviously, yeah, I've seen golf carts throughout my whole life. It's not my first time ever seeing a golf cart. Golf carts are common. You can buy them anywhere. But the fact that in Philly, if we buy a golf cart, we can't drive them nowhere but on a golf course or maybe in our neighborhood if the cops don't catch us and we don't get in trouble, you know what I mean? But we can't take that to the main street, you know? But over there, I seen him on the main street. Like, my man went to go pick up his food with his girl, and it was on a golf cart. Just chilling, man. Like I, like, I want a golf cart. I want to put a system in my golf cart, and I want some hydraulics, yo. But it was cool, though. It was real decent. And they sell them over here, too. They have a lot of um, dealerships that sell golf carts. I've always seen golf carts on Craigslist and offer up. And I've been tempted to buy it, but I'm like, look at this one right here on my left. No lie. Let me just turn to their driveway so y'all can see their golf cart. Boom. You see that golf cart that's right there on the left? You see it? You see it? You see it next to the Mini Cooper? Yep. I think that was the electric because it's plugged up. Now, I don't want an electric golf cart. We're, we're, we're passing 13th Street. I'm not interested in an electric golf cart. If I get a golf cart, I want it to be gas. It has to be gas. 
Look, this mailbox is like a school bus or some type of bus. You see it? Yeah, so. It's cool to see golf carts out and about. We're on 12th and Central. There's another golf cart on my right. You see it? Now, that looks like a gas one. So they're like another one on my right too. Wow, they're so common because I guess you know you can use them for the beachfront and everything. I'm just into things with wheels, so I think anything with wheels and a motor is kind of neat. I want to customize it and pimp it out and make a totally radical, bodacious ride, man, like gnarly. I want to hit those tubular waves. On my golf cart, man, like <laughs> tubular, totally radical, man. <laughs> We're on 10th and Central Ave, Cowabunga. Some of these houses are tall, wide, spacious looking from the outside. We're on 9th and Central Ave. That's that church on my right hand side. We're passing 8th and Central Ave. We're traveling like 14 miles an hour. I'm going relatively slow. Passing 7th and Central Ave. There'd be iguanas out here too, right, y'all? We're on 6th and Central Ave. I remember a couple years ago on the news, I was seeing um, people have like iguana infestations, I guess. We're on 5th and Central Ave. And snakes too, right? We're on 4th and Central Ave. There's no stop signs for us, so that's why I'm just going. Oh, snap. I just noticed it's North 4th Street, North 5th Street, North 6th Street, etc., right? We're on North 3rd and Central Ave. Remember I said, well, let's see what, what, what do you see when you get to the other half of, of 2nd Street? You get to South 3rd Street, South 4th Street, South 5th Street, South 6th Street. So it's pretty much the same numbers. We're on North 2nd Street. <clears throat> Except the only difference is it's south. Wow. So it goes all the way up to 17th to 22nd to 26th to 28th Street. So right in front of us. So right now we're back on the main road on Route 100. This is the road that, that, that we started on. But... You got the Ormond Beach on my right hand side. You got Beverly Beach way behind us. Yeah, there's like a few beaches right here on, on the waterfront. You got 2nd Street right here. So this, I guess, would be South 2nd Street. And then South Central Ave. Wow. So we got Flag of the Beach Museum on my left. You got a barbershop on my right. You got a gorgeous, gigantic dog right here. This woman is walking a huge dog. Let me see your dog, man. Woo! Look at that big boy. Oh, don't turn. Come on. I wanted to see your dog. She she cut in too early. Yo, her, her dog is huge. Look at that. It's like a horse. Man, why is she turning? So we're not going to go up and down all these streets. I planted the seed for you guys so you guys know the potential of what some of these side blocks look like. What we are going to do is drive as far forward as we can, or at least close enough, and then we're going to make a left, and, I'm, and I promise you guys, A1A. Say it for me. Say it for me. Beachfront Avenue. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to drive A1A and end it off there. We're passing 5th Street. But for this not being a commercially popular beach like most of the other beaches, because I've never heard of Flagler Beach in my life until we came here. 
you know, because Miami's usually the more popular ones, and Orlando and Tampa. Even Daytona Beach is more known to me than, than this. Like, I've heard of Daytona Beach before. We're on 7th Street. And this is only 30 minutes from Daytona Beach, and that goes to show you Daytona Beach get more love than, than this beach get. But this little area, is not, well, then again, the beach itself is tiny. Like I said, the beach itself, is, it's like a stubby finger. You know how you got a short finger? You know, your pinky finger's short. We're on 8th and Central. And your middle finger's probably, like, long. Well, this is, like, one of them pinky finger beaches. And, you know, your your middle finger's like a, like a, like a Miami beach, if that makes any sense. No, that didn't make no sense whatsoever, did it? <laughs> we're on 9th Street. This dude is comparing his finger to beaches. Um, we're on 9th and Central. There's an RV parked over there, too. Wow, I wonder how they manage. We're on South Central Ave, 10th and South Central Ave. painting on my left a business advertising house painting only 11 for South Central gentleman was watching his Jeep yeah an older gentleman in his like 60s was watching his Jeep I bet you he the original owner we're on 12th and Central Ave I love Jeeps especially if they're um, five-speed a Jeep Wrangler five-speed 80s body 90s body they're really nice Four wheel drive, nice big knobby tires. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're on 13th and Central Ave. I think I'm gonna take it up another block or two, and then we're gonna go on A1A. Beachfront Avenue. Yo, I had to, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, it's OCD. OCD obsessive composing disorder. Yo, look at this RV on my left. And something's for, for sale. What's for sale? The house is for sale? Yo, the house is for sale and they're showing the house to, to a couple. There's a couple on my left hand side that's, that's looking at the house. Yo, the house is for sale and they're literally screening the house to, to a couple. I see the real estate agent and he was like literally showing them the house. There's this nice classic truck right here on my right. 80s body, right? So Silverado. It's like the early 80s. It's like an 82, 81 or something. Oh, 14th and Central. I'm gonna go up one more block and then I'm gonna make a left. I should have made a left there, right? Let's go up one more block. You can do it, do, do it. Do it. I just wanna show y'all some of that A1A um, strip, at least show you some of it. We're on 15th and Central Ave. No carts beyond this point. I guess you can't take golf carts on the main road. We're on A1A and <laughs> I swear I want to say it. We're on 15th Street and A1A. I'm going to make this left hand turn. Wow, this um, beach from right here doesn't even have a little wooden thing, like a, like, like a banister. So all that on my right, ladies and gentlemen, is pure beach. Take it in, guys. Let me open up the windows.
Yo, look, look at this little, little um, bus car right here on my left. You see it? And that don't look decent. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to stay quiet and show y'all the beach without me talking and interrupting over it. See that lady with a surfboard? But unfortunately, we have just reached our one hour mark. Check out the scooter dude on my left hand side. I see you, scooter dude. Yeah, guys, we just reached our one hour mark. I want to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. Please show some love. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever been to Flagler Beach? Do you have any knowledge? Do you have any information about the environment? Feel free to enlighten us. This is your homeboy Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars, Tune Ski, Tunism, Bad Tune, y'all know. Tune be chillin' and I'm tuning out.